I'm meteorologist Kelly Cass. Here's a look at your national weather picture featuring some beautiful skies from Minneapolis to Chicago. The Cubs are at home. Beautiful baseball weather here. Nice skies through the northeast for the most part, but increasing clouds and chance of a few showers working in to places like Philadelphia as well as Washington, D.C. The really heavy rain, though, down along the I-20 corridor between Dallas and Atlanta, Georgia. It is going to be a soaking rain out there, and unfortunately, that low is not going anywhere as we head into our Friday. The same places will get the downpours the showers and thunderstorms from Atlanta down towards Tampa and it looks like even as we go into the weekend we're going to be dealing with that stalled out frontal boundary upper level low as well so that's really going to help focus those showers and storms throughout the southeast while the northeast back towards the Great Lakes and even much of the west will be relatively dry as we go through the next couple of days checking out the numbers now Chicago a gorgeous 75 degrees for you 65 degrees so a touch of fall in New York 90 degrees in Tampa and about mid 70s for Dallas and now towards Phoenix and Arizona. We're looking at those temperatures right around 100 degrees for you. There's a look at our Friday afternoon high, 77 degrees in Chicago with increasing clouds from the south. In fact, St. Louis and Kansas City may see a late day shower working in on our Friday. Then we kick off our weekend and we have some college football action out there. We've got the Gators at home in Gainesville, Florida. Looks like more showers and storms working in. And when it's not raining, it's going to be very warm and very muggy all across the southeast. Dallas getting up to about 79 degrees and a cold front slides through the northeast with very little fanfare, just some cooler air moving into New York with that high in the upper 60s.